Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to create a Swing application and then display some message within that particular Swing application. If you want to create a Swing application, the very first thing is to import a library called JavaX.Swing and then uh, we need to create uh, a class. Let us say that uh, in this case, I have created a class named uh, Swing Demo in this case. And within this particular swing demo class, we need to add the main class main method here. That is public static void main string args. Within this particular main, we need to go on writing the uh, different set of instructions so that we can create a window, we can set the size of the window, and then uh, we can add some message within that particular window and so on. So very first thing uh, what we need to do in any swing application is to create a window. To create a window, we need to create an object of that particular uh, JFrame class. Uh, this particular JFrame uh, class is present within uh, Java X uh, dot swing here. So first uh, JFrame, uh, the name of the object I have taken is uh, JFRM. New JFrame, you can give any name to that particular uh, window that will be displayed something like this. That is uh, the on the top of that particular window, you will get that particular uh, name here. So in this case, I have given name like a simple swing application. We can give any name here. Or if you want to leave it blank, yes, you can do that also. Now, uh, I have created an object of this particular JFrame, but I have not set any size for that particular uh, uh, frame here. So JFRM, that is the object, dot set the size. I am going to set the size for that particular window. In this case, I have used the two parameters, that is 300, 200. That is nothing but 300 horizontal number of pixels, 200 vertical number of pixels. You can set uh, this particular size according to your wish. We will try to change and see at the later stage. Next, uh, I have used one very important uh, uh, attribute that is called a JFRM dot set default close operation. The meaning of this one is uh, whenever uh, you click on that particular cross button, the program should stop its execution. So that's the reason we have taken this particular uh, method. Uh, and then we have passed the parameter like jframe dot exit on close. So you can pass anything over here, but for time being, I'm, I have passed it as jframe dot exit on close here. Next, uh, within this particular window, what you want to display? For that reason, you need to create uh, an object of jlabel. Any number of uh, uh, content you want to display, uh, you want to display, very first thing what you need to do is, you need to create an object of jlabel here. That is jlab I have created what you want to display and where you want to display whether it is at center or left or right that can be handled with the help of second parameter if you don't pass anything f uh, by default it will be displayed on the left side or if you want to display it on the center you have to use jlabel.center if you want to display it on the right side you have to use jlabel.right here so that is what you have to do we will try to change it at the later stage and then uh, you have created an object of jlabel and the value is this one you want to display it but what do you need to do you need to add that particular uh, object into your frame that is jfrm is an object of frame dot add what is the label you want to add jlab here that is what you need to do here and these are some of the things what i have done more here you can do a lot of other things those things we will discuss in the next video and then uh, finally, we need to uh, set the visibility of that particular JFrame with the help of a set visible function or a method. JFRM dot set visible, true or false. True means the window is visible. Otherwise, that window or frame is not visible in this case. Now, we will try to see the output of this particular program. If you see the output, you can see here we have created a window of size 300 by 200 and you are getting this particular message like uh, swing means powerful GUI. That is what is the message or the label I wanted to display and the window name is a simple swing application you can see over here. Now I'll do one thing. Uh, I'll try to remove this particular jlabel dot center and then I will try to show you the output here. If you see the output again you will get the same thing but the one thing you will see here is uh, the content is displayed at the left corner over here. Now, if you want to change the size of this particular window, yes, you can do that also. Let us say that it is 500 by 300 or any number you want to pass, you can pass here. And then if you try to see the output, you will see the size of the window is increased in this case and the content is displayed exactly at the center here. 
now uh, what we can do here is uh, we will try to change this particular visibility to false and then we will try to see here uh, if i try to set it to false and then if i try to run it again uh, i will be able to run this particular application successfully but i am not going to see that particular window here that's a problem so because of that what we need to do here is we need to set the visibility of that particular window or a frame as true then only i'm going to get this particular output in this case i hope uh, you understood how can we write a very simple uh, swing application in java so that you can create a window you can set some properties like uh, what should be the size of that particular window uh, what well, some content you have displayed in this particular window if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching